<clears throat> Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the technical trader, and it's Monday night, December the 5th. These are the charts of the day. Market was kind of uh, sloppy, but it ended up on a positive note. And there were quite a few stocks that uh, had some movement today we wanted to show you. But I also want to point out that some of the low price stocks that were moving uh, reached some resistance levels. And I want to point out, and you'll see that in a moment. First security group, and I really talk about banks or anything in financial services, this is a stock that has blown from one and a quarter, I mean, excuse me, 110 to over four, reaching 448 today, more than quadrupling in two sessions. So you got to be careful. But that's kind of a thrust on this kind of volume, a historical volume for the stock is, is uh, quite intriguing. And the stock may find some resistance right here as, as it did near today's high. And he pulled back a consolidation in his zone, may be construed as a basing process. And, and perhaps we go up to the next level targeting six and a half. ATHX spiked sharply in two days, moving from $1.30 to uh, 242, nearly doubling, right up to key resistance zone here, although the thrust was huge. And today's volume of nearly a million shares, 939,000 shares, was the biggest volume in a very long time. There is resistance up here. I expect we could be some, see some back in filling, but should it blow through here, today's high 242, we can see move up towards three thereabout. SCEI. Now, we saw that one day pop here, and then it's falling wedge. But notice that the trend line held, and the stock snapped back 30 cents or 27% today <clears throat> on um, 1.4 million shares. And that's uh, one of the, sec I think it's the second heaviest volume since uh, last July. If we can follow through and take out the high, we have resistance around 165.78. We can get it up towards the 190.95 area, and then secondary target around 250.60. Zoom, also another stock on the low price sector that hit the bottom of its long term shutdown channel and then exploded off of it, moving from um, around 75 cents up to doubling $1.55. Overhead resistance and potential target up around the 780 area, secondary target at the declining top line around 210, 215. But it is somewhat short term overbought. We could see a pullback retest. IGOI popped significantly. In the last three or four sessions, moving from $0.60 cents to $1.28 doubling. Now it's right up against its longer-term declining tops line. So uh, that gives us pause. And I'd like to see what kind of fall through we get. If today, keep an eye on today's high at 128. That's key resistance here. Taleo exploded for 654, or almost 20%, on 5 million shares as um, SAP uh, acquired one of their competitors, and that puts them in play. SFSF was acquired today at a big premium. So that one of the reasons why this uh, may have exploded is that they uh, are deemed to be the next uh, to take over play. Uh, if we look at long-term resistance, this is um, new all-time high territory. So it's unprecedented. And um, we could see it start to trend even higher into the um, low to mid-40s. AFFY, Junior Biotech, popped today on positive news, taking out key resistance here. And although it did back off uh, and close mid-range, uh, we still like to keep an eye on today's high around 659 to see if we can get through that because that could lead to a, a run up into the high sevens. Connexus, KNXA. That's a big move today as it popped uh, 412 or 16% on 1.4 million breaking out across all of this resistance, but um, we have a level up here and a double top from the May double top highs that would be my target around 33 and a half short term. ARNA, significant breakout today. I showed you this pattern here a few days ago, multiple bottoms, but multiple tops. Those tops were taken out and now run up towards the 227.35 zone, may be underway. One of our little junior favorites, Netlist. Now we had that big pop uh, at the end of last month, in mid middle of last month, and then we pulled back to test the gap, fill it, and bounced from the three-day flag. And today, popped 31 cents or 11 percent. Buy increased to the heaviest in a couple three weeks, 2.6 million. If we can get our, out over today's high at 320 or so, I look for a retest to the 375.90 zone. Secondary target around five. I do believe there's a possibility we get there. STAA. Looking very good. Broke out a little two-day flag here. Let me uh, delete this for you. Get clear up the chart a little bit. And see that this here, little three-day flag resulted in this breakout pop. A strong move of 95 cents or 9.7% on 
740,000 shares. Now the top of the channel as I've drawn it here um, may be elevated to, to a parallel line that gets us up higher up towards the 14 range, 13 and a half, 14, which is my next target for STAA. SPPI, I wanted to point this out because it's such a beautiful rising ch uh, channel. After this breakout here and then the breakthrough there and the retest, it's moved steadily from 11 and a half to 15 nearly today, 14.99. But yet I'm still looking for higher levels as this major nine year base was taken out and it appears that the next target would be up closer to the 2021 zone. FTK um, on the daily chart, you'll see that the stock has been trending much higher here. Recently broke out above that line. And now the um, channel calls for more upside to about 11 and 3 quarters, 12. Secondary target, 13 and 3 quarters. ATRO, which we've liked for a couple months now after it broke out here, pulled back, pulled back, each time held support, broke out and pulled back. And now today up another dollar 27, 3.6%. My target's up around 42. PZZI, I'll tag the new all-time high and backed off, although it did manage to gain 20 cents anyway. It did close about 50 cents off its high. Nevertheless, still looking for more upside and a target around 8.5. And lastly, today's TRGP, target resources, uh, gas utility type company, which ex has exploded through a key resistance and today up another 85 cents on um, 557,000 shares. That's the second heaviest buying we've seen in a couple months. So we may see more upside. I believe this is all-time high territory. It is indeed. And we may see the stock trend into the low to mid 40s over the near term. That's it for tonight. Have a good one. Let's see how it goes tomorrow.